Let's take a look now at the all-important apply filters in a little bit more depth. If we pull up the reference, we can see that it's taking a few parameters here. It's taking the name of the filter that we wanted to have, and then it's taking the default value, and finally, one or more variables passed that we could use within the filter functions. If we come down and take a look, we could see that it is possible to pass multiple arguments through. If we look up here, we could also see that in addition to apply filters, we also have apply filters reference array. The difference is, is that all of the extra parameters from default value to the extra arguments as well can all be written as a single array and then passed into apply filters reference array. If we're just using apply filters and we want to use multiple variables, then we'd have to list them out one after another. Let's take a look at an example just using a new hook and an example default value. If we open up applyfilters.php inside of our examples, we have two pieces of code going on. The top part is where we are writing a new function that's tying into our example filter. Later on down in the code, we're running apply filters. You need these two components to work. This bottom section of the code is what you would add to your own plugin or theme wherever it was that you wanted to grant other people access to filter piece of information. So what you would do in your code is use apply filters, give the name of the filter that you want to create, so your name here would be whatever it is that you want it to be named, and then you pass it the default value, this could either be a variable or in this case a string as we're doing it like this, and in this case we're not going to pass any variables to it, we'll just do a simple one like this. So apply filters, we're naming our filter here, and then we're giving it a default value to use for our app in case nobody else is hooked into it. Then, this code up here is going to create a function called example callback and hook that in at priority 10, which is default. So if we're going to set it to 10, we could simply remove it as well to make our code a little bit cleaner. It's going to pass in the default value, and then we're going to echo it out or return something new. We could also do something like this. And then return the new value. Whatever it was, whatever edit it is that we want to make. So let's come into our functions.php and on top of list hooks, we're going to apply the apply filters file. So now when we refresh our page, let's see what we have going on here. Sorry, that would be JavaScript. Okay, so what we have here is default value new displaying, which is what we would expect it to based on this code. But let's back it up and look at something else that happens which is, let's say that we write our code, and in our code we're giving people the opportunity to add a filter to something, but we're not using it ourselves. So let's say that we never wrote a code that ties into our own filter. We simply set the default value and said, okay, go ahead and echo this out. If there are filters, run them. If not, just give us a default value. So what we would expect to see is default value. However, if we uncomment this, we should see this default value being passed as a variable, us using that variable to reset something new and then returning it. So now we could see it show up. The other cool thing is that because this WP filters array contains all of the hooks in WordPress, because we created and added a new hook, we should be able to search and see it show up along with the function that we've tied into it. But if we change our code and comment this out, whereas we're using the apply filters, but no functions are trying to hook into it, if we refresh our page 
and look for our hook now, we won't see it show up. This is important to know that a filter can have a potential, meaning that somewhere in the code they could be giving you the options to apply a filter. However, until somebody actually adds something to it, it won't show up in this list. What that means is that you may have a plugin or some extra code that may have some filters that you're not seeing here because they're not necessarily being called or having anything tied to them. However, this is a good overview of how apply filters works and you should be able to do this in your own code by copying in the relevant apply filters where you need it and then either using it yourself or documenting it so that other people can tie into your code.